Hi everyone! You probably know that your heartbeat is composed of two different sounds. The first sound, also abbreviated as S1, corresponds to the closure of the atrioventricular valves. The second sound, abbreviated as S2, corresponds to the closure of the aortic and pulmonary semilunar valves. However, sometimes a third sound can be heard. In healthy individuals, this is referred to as physiological splitting. The third sound is actually the splitting of S2, hence the name. While normally the aortic semilunar valve and pulmonary semilunar valve close at relatively the same time, there can be instances where their timing differs so much that they can be heard as distinct sounds. It looks something like this. This could occur in healthy individuals during deep inspiration, or when you're taking a deep breath in. To breathe in, your thoracic cavity expands in order to increase the volume of your lungs so that you can suck in air through negative pressure. The expansion of the thoracic cavity and resulting decrease in intrathoracic pressure also causes a decreased pressure in the right atrium. Just like your lungs, this decrease in pressure creates a vacuum which can pull in air, or in this case, blood. This causes an increase in blood returning to the heart from the systemic circuit. At the same time, inspiration can decrease the amount of blood returning to the left atrium from the pulmonary circuit. As the lungs expand, there is less pressure on the pulmonary vasculature and more blood is retained. This causes a decrease in blood returning to the heart from the pulmonary circuit. The result of both of these factors is much more blood coming into the right atrium than the left. This is where the frank starling law of the heart comes into play. Put simply, the law states that the stretch of cardiac muscle fibers are positively correlated with the strength of the following contraction. The greater the cardiac muscle fibers are stretched, due to the amount of blood it holds, the stronger the following contraction and ejection of blood from the heart. So if more blood comes into the right side of the heart, those muscles on the right will be stretched more than those muscles on the left. A greater contraction also means that the positive pressure that's built up is sustained for a longer time, which delays the closure of the corresponding valve. During inspiration, more blood enters the right side of the heart. Because of this, the right side is stretched more than the left. This causes the muscles of the right ventricle to contract more forcefully than the left, which delays the closing of the pulmonary semilunar valve. As the left ventricle had a smaller contraction due to a lower volume of blood, the aortic semilunar valve closes earlier. If we plot these sounds along a line, you will see that normally your heart beats like this, where we perceive the first sound, S1, from the closing of both atrioventricular valves, and the second sound, S2, from the closing of both semilunar valves. You can see that the aortic semilunar valve still closes before the pulmonary valve in this case, but the difference in time is so small that we can't perceive them as distinct sounds. During inspiration, the aortic valve closes a bit earlier than normal, and the pulmonary valve closes a bit later than normal. In this case, due to the bigger difference in timing, we can perceive these sounds as being two distinct sounds. <laughs>